In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the fill command on Minecraft PlayStation, Xbox, PE, Switch, Windows 10, and any other Bedrock Edition platforms. I'll first of all show you how to do this using coordinates, and then I'll show you how to do it using relative coordinates, and then also show you all of the different modes, features, and functions for this command. As there is quite a lot of cool features and very useful ones that you can use with this command. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to work out where you want your fill to be. This is going to be for a simple fill using two sets of coordinates. So what you want to do is mark out one area, so one side or one corner or whatever shape you want to do of the build. So in this case, I'm going to put the bottom side here. This is where I want the bottom side to be and up there is where I want the top side to be. What you want to do is face down looking into the block. Now, if you are doing this on a device where you aren't able to use a keyboard and mouse, you don't have a keyboard and mouse, then you will need to note down the coordinates manually, either on a bit of paper, a note pad you can even use the comment section and comment coordinates down there if you want to or you can use your minecraft chat however you want to do this you want to type down this set of coordinates so you want to face into the lower corner you want to type down the set of coordinates and then you want to do the same for the other side as well so you do the same for the higher up side of coordinates as well so go over there stand on that block and then go ahead and write down those coordinates but if you are on a device with a keyboard and mouse what you can do is simply look down into the corner go into chat and type the command slash fill and then followed by the tab key twice and then the tab key twice again tab key twice again again and tab key twice again and then simply press whichever button it is for you to be able to send messages in the chat and then you will be able to have that first set of coordinates saved you then want to go over to the other side and you want to do the same again so you want to face down at the top and then you want to go into chat and then you want to type the commands uh, the same command so it'll be the continuing the command but the same thing you want to do the next set of coordinates so tab again twice tab again twice and tab again twice and this will be your set of coordinates now if you are on a device which you can't unfortunately do this and you have to type them out Manually, then you want to type out the command manually so it'll be a slash fill and then your first set of coordinates you wrote down to just put these in the chat so in this command and then the second set of coordinates as well and then you want to go ahead and type whichever block you want to fill with so in this case let's go ahead and fill with cobblestone so cobblestone and then if I go ahead and press enter it will fill this area with cobblestone let's say that you wanted to fill a specific sized area but you don't know the exact coordinates well you can do this too all you need to do is go to where you want it to fill and stand in the location you then want to go into chat and type the command slash fill and then you want to type tilde and then tilde and then tilde now tildes basically mean where the player is currently standing and this means it will be relative to where the player is you then want to go ahead and type tilde again and then followed by your first size so in this case we're going to do a 10 and then we want to do tilde again and i'm going to put three because i want this to be three blocks tall and then actually let's do minus three because then it'll be underneath me and then let's go ahead and do 10 again now if i type the block that i want so let's go for dirt in this example and then i go ahead and press enter it will go ahead and it will spawn this dirt area beneath me so as you can see the dirt area is now floating and it did summon where it where i wanted it to be and that's you can fill without needing coordinates and you can do it relative to where you are instead now this can be very useful if you are doing this in an execute command for example and you want to be able to use a command to be able to fly around and destroy an area and it's very cool and easy to be able to do that you can also use the fill command to be able to change blocks from one block to another so for example if i want to change this cobblestone into wood planks i can do this so if i go ahead and hit this button it will then change the cobblestone into wood planks you can do this for any blocks you want to and it's really simple and easy to do and you can do this with inside of chat just like the of these that are coming up you can do them in chat i'm just doing it in command blocks so that i can save the commands and be able to easily show you what they are i've done a video showing you how to do this so be sure to check it out it's on the screen right now and it shows you how to replace blocks in minecraft using commands it's really simple easy to do and that video goes into depth so i'm not going to show you how to do it here you'll have to go and watch that video if you want to find out so for the next one, this is going to be the destroy. Now what this will do is it will destroy any blocks that is already existing within inside the area. So as you can see, I've got this little grass mound here, this little hill. And if I go ahead and hit the button, it will fill this. It will fill the area and it will destroy this. So if I go ahead and do that, it will fill the area with cobblestone and it will destroy anything that's already there. And the blocks will break and fall onto the ground because that is a destroy one. So as you can see, I can pick up these blocks. If I also go ahead and mine inside of here, as you can see, it's all destroyed and just replaced with the cobblestone because that's the block I chose. So for the command, for this what it is is just a slash fill like all of these are so you want to do slash fill and then coordinates and then the second set of coordinates and then cobblestone and then zero because that is a data value zero and then destroy and that is how you do that one 
Now for the next one, this is going to be to keep whatever is in the inside. So this is similar to the destroy one, but the complete opposite. It's just going to keep whatever's there. And if I go ahead and hit this button right here, as you can see, it will fill it with glass. I chose to do glass so that you can see the blocks still in the inside. As you can see, the blocks are still there. And you can, of course, do any other blocks than you want to as glass as well. So it doesn't have to be glass. You can do anything you want to. But as you can see, these blocks are still here because it keeps what's already in the area and just fills around it. Excluding air, of course, because that's what's going to be filled in with the block. But this is the same thing again. It's just slash fill and then the coordinates and then the block you want to fill and then the data value of that block. So in this case, you can go for zero or you can go for whatever data value you want to, depending on what you want. And then you can go ahead and put keep and it will go ahead and keep the blocks. And that's how you do the keep one. And then the next one is going to be the hollow. Now, hollow is a similar thing to outline, which is these are the final two. But with hollow, it will make the inside of the area hollowed. With outline, it will keep whatever is inside. So if I go ahead and hit this button here it will go ahead and fill this and then if i look inside it will be completely hollowed there's nothing inside of this area and this is a slash fill it's the coordinates it's basically the same thing again all of these are pretty similar so it's slash fill coordinates set one coordinates set two and then the block and then the data value of that block and then hollow for the hollow one and then for the outline this is the same thing again however it's slightly different because it will go ahead and keep whatever is in the inside so as you can see if i hit this button it will then go ahead and it will keep the inside Inside bits here or keep what's inside of here for me because that is what I set it up to do and the command is the same again so it's slash fill first set of coordinates second set of coordinates and then the block and then it is outline and that is how you can go ahead and how you can do the outline one the fill command can be quite basic but it can also have some cool functionality for example you can use it to be able to drain water to be able to make void worlds to be able to flatten and destroy land and for many other uses as well I've got videos on all of that stuff on my channel if you want to check them out and talking about videos you should check out i've got one about how to use world edit on minecraft bedrock edition it goes through a bunch of different world edit mechanics on minecraft bedrock using commands for example copying and pasting builds or building stuff with brushes and cool world edit functionality feel free to check it out it's on the screen right now and i'll see you right over at that video bye